Hey guys, in this video what I'd like to do is show you how to set up uh, the Hypertherm Plasma Cutter. Some of the things in the video we're going to go over are how to plug it in, all the settings and how to get those set up, how to hook up the air and how to get it adjusted correctly. Um, this will not be a video on how to use it, that will be in the next part. Right now we're just going to show you how to set it up. Alright, so first things first, this is where the plasma cutter is located in the shop and this is where it also needs to be put back to. It doesn't matter if you were just using it for a second or somebody else had it out. If you're the last person to use this item, it needs to be put away. All the leads need to be rolled up. Everything needs to be put back where it belongs in this location. So that way there's just no confusion on what put away looks like. Please make sure that all of the tools that we teach you how to use in this video get put away when you're done using them. So let's go ahead and get started with the plugging it in. So what we're going to do is take our 240 plug right here. We're going to go up to our plug, which is located here behind the steel rack, and we're just going to go ahead and plug it in. If you need to be working a little bit further away from this plug, honestly, you've only got like a, a five foot extension cord here. Um, we do have a 20 foot extension cord located by the entrance of the shop uh, on the extension cord rack. So go ahead and grab one of those if necessary. The next thing I want to point out is we have this quick disconnect right here. So this is going to be for the supply to air. So there's plenty of hose reels throughout the shop that you're going to be able to get that supplied air from. So just hook up your air hose to this quick disconnect. And all you're going to do to hook that up is you're going to pull the, the collar back here and then press it on and you're good to go. After we get the air hose plugged in and the electrical hooked up, we're going to go ahead and turn it on with this switch right back here. Just push it to the up position and you'll hear the cooling fan turn on. At this point, I would go ahead and I would take my ground clamp right here and I would go and hook it up to the table. I would also take my torch and I would probably lay it on the table. I would also pull apart this uh, torch head and make sure none of the parts were damaged or beat up. Then I would start looking at this front cover. There's a few things that we need to talk about here. The first one being is the air. So this little gauge right here is determining how much air is being sent to the torch. The way we adjust it is with this plug or this knob up here on top. We're going to pull it out and we're going to just start rotating it either in or out to get it to where we need to go. Notice that it's already moving as I'm rotating, moving back and forth. All right, so we need it to be in the center where this arrow is pointing. If we go all the way down where there's not enough air, air it's going to be in the negative. If we got too much air, it's going to go all the way up, go yellow, and it's not going to be set right. So we're going to go right to the center, right here. Oops. Mm. Then we're going to look at this switch right here, and this is a three position switch. If you go to the top, it's got a plasma cutter that is working on some expanded metal right here. So what happens is if you start the cut, it will actually not turn off until you're all the way through and you let go of that trigger. The next one will be the one that we'll probably use the most. And this one is just used for doing general plate cutting. It, uh, as soon as it goes off the plate, it's going to turn the arc off. It's not going to start up until you actually are touching the plate, things like that. The bottom one is used for plasma gouging. Now plasma gouging would be to do things like cut out a weld or to and maybe bore out a groove or cut a crack out or something like that. We're not going to do that in this class, but do know if you if you do this setting, you need to have a different tip put on that torch. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to adjust this thing down. Notice that the green light goes to whichever setting we have it on and we're, we've got that done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my knob right here for my amps. Now this particular plasma cutter is probably only good for about 3 eighths to half an inch. So if I was going to cut 3 eighths, I would probably want to be up in this range. Well, if I was going to do a quarter, I'd probably be about here. And if I was going to do an eighth, I'd probably be around here. And if I was going to cut something like a sheet metal, I'd probably be in a, at the really low setting. So that pretty much covers everything we need to do to set up the plasma cutter. If you turn it on and there's any settings that are yellow or any of these settings up here become yellow, we need to take a look at it and get that fixed. So please don't be using it if something is broken or something's not working correctly.